Hi guys, we put together a new resistance band program for you all. Uh, it's going to consist of four new exercises that you could start to utilize on a more daily or weekly basis that are going to go a long way to improving your overall glute strength, but, in, in turn, and, but obviously improving your overall hip uh, strength as well. So this is going to be vital for anyone that's suffering from lower back, looking to improve their general overall performance in things like running, cycling, swimming, um, and walking. Okay guys, so glutes are now obviously such a big focus for us all to be working on um, and we want to show you how easy it is to get, get a good efficient workout done using just your mini loop band. Okay, so get this going, starting off with our first two exercises, we're going to be looking at our banded lateral, um, lateral leg lift and we'll be looking at our, our banded step back. Okay, and we're going to be doing these two exercises back to back. First things first, Get this mini band around the ankles, about sock height. Probably if you've got socks on, pull those socks up just to prevent you from pulling those hairs out of your legs. Find yourself an upright, hold, making sure you stand up nice and tall, holding on just for support. And then with a the hand on the hip, we're just gonna to look to kick out that ex external side, that external leg, okay? And we're kicking it out to the side and just behind us. So we're gonna be going for a set of 10. And we're gonna go, and we're really not looking to maintain good core stability through the middle. We're not looking to kick, to kick our hips into it. That's 10. We're going to do 10 one side, 10 the other. Making sure you're not over leaning into it. Just make these glutes work. Put your hand on it, feel it. That's seven, eight, nine, 10. Stepping out into space. So you've just 10 done, 10 each side. We're going straight into your second exercise, which is our banded step back. So, key point feet shoulder width apart, get some resistance on the band sit back into it. I want your weight in your heels. You better lift your toes, keeping your weight central, okay, right over your feet. From here, step back and behind. So back to a 45 degree angle. And you're gonna keep your weight loaded over the top. So you're gonna keep your body nice and central. And we're just gonna step back and we're gonna work for a set of 20. So that's seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay guys, so we're just looking to stay nice and low the whole time. We're, we're abducting that leg out and away from us. We're going to mild extension of the hip, but again, we really are looking just to bully those glute med, okay guys? We're just reaching back. One more. Woo! All right, and that's one set. So we've done a little superset there, two exercises back to back. We're then gonna go straight back into it. I want 10 each side, then straight back into that 20 step backs. We're gonna do three sets of that, okay? Moving into our next exercise, we're looking at the banded lateral walk, all right? So, <clears throat> stepping in, making sure you've got some nice space around you. I don't need much space. We're gonna fall back into that loaded squat position. So again, our weight's in our heels, toes are slightly elevated, sitting down into it, about probably a half squat position. <clears throat> and then from here, hands on the hips, hands out in front, wherever you feel comfortable, we're gonna walk, okay? We're gonna walk, but we're gonna lead with my knee and we're gonna go for a set of 20. All right, we're just gonna work our way across the room. So really looking to maintain same height. I'm staying nice and low. I'm looking to keep my weight back. We don't want the weight in our knees. We wanna keep the weight in our front. Last set. Woo. And shake it off. And we're going to hit three sets, all right? So we're looking to hit three sets of 20. Give yourself 15, 20 seconds in between just to let those glutes uh, come, come back, you know, taper off a little bit. And then we're going to hit it again, and then once more, and that's three sets of 20. And then for our last exercise of our little, this little mini set, I want us to put the band around the toes now. Now, those of you who've done our previous mini band workout, we were working on our knee drives from a standing position, and obviously that's really bringing in the hip flex, so we're bringing in the hamstrings, the glutes, and we're really having to focus on our core. Now, we're gonna just up the ante a little bit, and we're gonna use a wall, okay? And we're gonna look to create a bit more angle, a bit more of a running angle in this. And so hands up against the wall, and we're looking for to 10 reps each side. And then from here, all we're looking to do is get our feet kind of underneath us, almost behind us, getting a bit of a lean into it, partial lean, and then from here, drive that knee high and back drive knee high and back. And what we're really looking for as we work through 10 reps is we're looking for that strong hip drive, knee drive, dropping that knee back into full hip extension. You'll see it better from this side as we drive that knee high. Keep that toe high, okay? Don't let those toes drop. 
Drop that hip back into hip extension, which is open hip. Drive again. You're gonna feel a great deal of work as we connect, start to connect these guys, the glutes, with the rest of our hip complex, okay? And this is vital for us when it comes to our banded work. So there you go guys, four exercises that you can do. We look, first looked at a little superset to start the, start the session off with. Lateral leg lifts, followed by our banded step back. Two, two or three sets, two exercises back to back. Then we went into our banded walk. Remember to lead with the knee. We're not creeping with the foot, we're leading with the knee every time for that set of 23 times. And then we're finishing with those wall knee drives, okay? And we're looking for that really open hip position as we drive through. And you should have a good little band workout. And that, you can do that pre, pre-run, pre-performance, or just start including that on a, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And I promise you it's gonna go a long way to connecting these guys with this and the rest of your body. Let us know what you think.